Welcome back to the One Up Winner Classic. After a great C main last night, 25 drivers are going to fight for five remaining spots in the A main tomorrow in this B main race. Contested over 50 laps, this is going to be a high stakes, no holds barred battle to the finish line to see which five drivers advance to the big show tomorrow night. Alongside me in the booth for today, tonight's action is Duke Ansack once again, and we've got a bit, a lot of guys looking to capitalize and make the A main feature, including five drivers who transferred in from the C main starting all the way out back. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And those five drivers who are starting in the back, you know, despite the fact that they have to pass uh 20 cars each to be able uh to advance uh into the a main from this race i think that you should definitely look at them as uh, potentially people who could go and do that they have 40 more laps on this track than anybody else does this weekend uh or this week so far and you know i'll tell you you don't want to sleep on those drivers but at the same time they're going to have to pass a lot of talented guys that are starting in the top 20 of this race who earn their spot uh in the b main during the heat races and i think that this is is going to be a lot of fun because once again uh if you don't make it into the top five you are done for the week so it is uh you don't want to get eliminated here and it's going to be uh, an all-out winner takes all situation uh, to try to make it into the a main and now we look at the starting lineup for tonight's 50 laps of action mark davy takes pole position for the B main, and, and as we saw in the C main, that might not be the best place to start. Ideally, you want to start further back in the top five, like where Ryan Soper and Austin Zorgan are. Those guys might be in prime position, with Jacob Athens right behind them. Of course, Jonathan Lawson on outside pole. But you got some relative unknowns starting up at the front. Kyle Danielson, Jacob Buckles, and then you got veterans like Nick Ortiz, Joshua Michaels. These guys are talented, talented the drivers you got kale tescar jr and miles mashburn starting out back as well no there, but you, there's no room for all of them something's got to give yep you're, you're absolutely right about that i mean only five of these drivers are going to make it through uh to the a main out of this race and you know you only got 50 laps to do it that's only half uh, of the total of the a main laps so uh you know of course it's double the amount of laps that we had in the heat races so all of the 20 that uh, earned their way into the b main from the heats are gonna have a, a doubly long length uh race to be able to figure out what they need to do perfect their craft and uh, get it done today but we'll see what happens i mean we've seen people if you got the right car and you got the right line and with the right pace you can absolutely come all the way from the back to the front and if you're uh, if you're fast enough you can get a big enough lead that maybe nobody will be able to catch you so this is going to be a lot of fun to watch we'll see uh which drivers are uh the ones that are going to come out on top by the end of these 50 laps so with that being said, we've got 25 hungry hungry drivers ready to take to the track, and we're ready to bring you that action. It's 50 laps from Oswego, it's the B-Main for the 1-Up Winner Classic, and it's coming up next. Getting ready for 50 laps of action, Mark Davey and Jonathan Lawson take us to the green in, in the B-Main, and it's pretty even for the front few rows, but that's going to change as they come off turn two, because that inside line is definitely the place to be. Yeah, and I think Ryan Soper is going to get a great run on the 22 here. Oh, but he, he had to let up into the corner for some reason. Not sure what it was, but he held up that inside lane. He's still on the inside of that 22, I, and he's going to get up beside him. So we're still side by side for the lead right here. Uh, Ryan Soper putting up a fight, trying to get to the top spot early in this one. Yeah, he wants to he wants to make that A main bad because the the short tracks are his specialty, and now he's clear clearing through to the lead. The purple number 84 is off to a good start, but Austin Zorgan's making a move to the inside of Mark Davey for second, and that but he's still got Jacob Athens in the 976 to contend with. Yeah, and remember Austin Zorgan was pretty good in his uh, qualifying heat race, and and now he's uh, he's showing some of that speed once again. Uh, here, he just got a little bit unlucky towards the end and wasn't in one of those transfer spots in that heat or in that heat race, but he was good. Uh, now he's all the way, he's pushing his way all the way up into second place. Right now, he's going to be clear for second, slides in right there, and he might put up a challenge with that 84 soon. Yeah, Austin Zorgan, remember, we've talked about it during his heat race. He qualified into the Knoxville truck race last year through a heat race, and he went on to post a very solid finish in that race. So 
Zorgan is very good on the dirt, no matter what he's, kind of car he's in. But now he's under fire from that red and white number five, Jacob Buckles, for second. Yeah, Jacob Buckles, another guy that I remember being pretty good in their heat race, and now is moving up into second place. Uh, it's, it's just like uh, Austin, or just like Zorgan right there, uh, who he's side by side with. But Ryan Soper right now maintaining that lead uh, with all the chaos behind. Now the five has pulled in uh, into that second place, and now we'll see. Oh no, that's Zorgan going to go to the bottom there, and they're going to keep fighting for second and. All at the same time, they are catching that 84, and he is just barely ahead of them. Yeah, Zorgan, I think, is going to be the, is going to be a prime contender if he makes it through this B main and into the A. But he's got a long way to go. There's still over 40 laps to go. Buckles runs it to the top of the track. Oh, we almost have contact between William Brock and Joshua Michaels further back. That's the battle for fourth. But right now, you can hardly see through the cloud of dust these cars are kicking up. But it's Austin Zorgan who's now clear of buckles for second. Now he can chase after the 84. Yeah, that 44 is looking good. And now he just gets barely to the uh, left rear wheel of that 84 car. He's going to drop low into the corner. We're watching the back of the field right now. And he's going to stay side by side for the lead with the 84. And now he's just pulled ahead a little bit. And he slides up in front of him. And now he is taking the lead. That's Austin Zorgan to the point. And the five car as well is trying to pass uh, Ryan Soper. And now we have Stojanovic in the 679 making gains. The Serbian native trying to make his way into the A main. This is his first time on dirt. So kudos to him for making the most of that. But Zorgan continues to lead with Buckles second, Soper third. Then you have the battle for the final transfer spot between Michaels and Brock just behind the 679. Yeah, this is... Uh... This is good so far. We've got a lot of uh, pretty good racing uh, all throughout the field right now, and it's pretty tight up towards the front. Uh, and this is a battle for that uh, fourth position, which is is a little bit a little bit unsafe at this point in the race. You definitely you want to be within that top five uh, at the end of the race. Being fourth right now is not safe. You definitely want to try to go up to the front during this race. And right now, the uh, the one car is in that fourth spot, looking good. And it's so, it's so difficult to see that end of the track. They keep kicking up so much dust in that one corner uh, because they're running a little bit higher up there uh, in, the, in the looser dirt. But yeah, so they're single filed out right now, but it, it, it is still a tight race between all these drivers. I don't think that there's a clear favorite so far. And remember William Brock, he crashed in his heat race and it is still running this well in the B main. He managed to fix his car while the C main was going on. He was able to get some, some valuable information out of that race that he can apply into his race right now, which he's currently running in fourth position, like you said. And, that, as we, and we now have a battle for the lead between Buckles and Zorgan for the top spot. Buckles made it that nice move to the bottom lane. He hasn't completed the pass yet, though. You're going to have to stay low. The 44 kind of pinched him down there, but it will be to his own demise because the 5 is going to pull right up in front and take the lead away. So that's Buckles now, the leader of this race on lap 17. But I wouldn't count out Zorgan by any stretch. He's just biding his time. He doesn't need to be leading right now. Because remember, it, it, the, they give out the advancing positions on lap 50, not lap 18. So there's plenty of time to ride. He's currently hanging out in the second position. I don't think he wants to stay there very long, though, no, because here he comes to the bottom of the five. Yeah, that was a really tight uh, maneuver right there. He was super close to making some contact with the five. Uh, they've been racing each other pretty hard, these guys have, uh, but it looks like he's, Zorgan now is going to get back to the point very quick uh, to get pa back past the five car, so we'll see what happens. I think that they're all a little bit nervous because of how close everybody is to them. The whole top four is right there, and then everybody else is, is pretty close in close pursuit as well, so this is going to be a, 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 tough, a tough one to stay in the top five for uh, as we watch the triple seven, Jonathan Lawson back there started in second place has fallen back a little bit and Ryan Soper uh, making a move for second place he's gonna have to make it a double a double trouble situation here if he wants to clear because there's not there wasn't enough room there is now is he gonna slide up he will into second place that's 84. Yeah great move by the 84 to stay in a solid transfer position you don't need to win this race necessarily you just need to be in that top five to earn a spot in the A main 
but I'm sure he'd love to win this race just for bragging rights because you never know when that next win's going to come. As we now look further back, you see Joshua Michaels and Nathan Ormond. This is the battle for the eighth position. And Bronson Minnick, one of the drivers who transferred in from the C-Main, he's made his way up into the top ten before we've even hit halfway. Yeah, that's a, that's a really great uh, great run right there. And, and we're we're looking at a good, uh, a good situation here with a lot of different storylines developing. You can actually see Chris Lattimore right there as well. Uh, just hanging out, and, and then uh, Zachary Delello as well, um, and Tyler and, and, Pompey in the 39. Yeah, yeah. They're all they're all kind of right there. The 59 uh, is uh, nearly behind right there. So these guys are, are starting to put the, those extra laps that they have to use. That's kind of what I thought might happen in this race, just because of the fact that they know what's going to happen to this track uh, during a longer race. We're at that point now. This would have been the end of the heat race. So we're in the uh, the unknown territory for everybody but those five drivers that advance from the sea main so this could be where those drivers shine and uh, possibly get that work their way up to the front and, and uh, give themselves a shot to make the a main you never know though these guys have a lot of ground to make up they're nearly two and a half seconds off the lead so they gotta put the loud pedal down if they're gonna yes. have any hope as you see kyle danielson blaine sailor kale tescar jr is back here that's a bit of a surprise Francois Chastain, Zachary Fitzwater, the other C-Main transfer, Earl Sears back here, Jensen Nominen, the 62, Roberto Crown Jr., Neo 2-1, that's a bit of a surprise to see back here. You got Miles Mashburn near the back of the train, and at the very back is Nick Ortiz. These are two of the best Man. drivers in the Superstar Series. They're running the last and next to last in this B-Main. You're right. You just said a lot of names that you'd expect to be running up front here, and they uh, absolutely aren't right now. Um, they're they're running towards the back, and that's that's sort of been a theme of this of this whole week with everybody racing here. Is that we we've seen a lot of surprises at the back of the pack. Um, of course, this is no indication of how uh, the one-up season will go. But y you know, you want to sort of use this race as a as a confidence booster. I'm sure that Zorgan is going to go into this season with a bit a big confidence boost, uh, no matter what the outcome of this race is, because he's out there leading laps, getting experience, racing with these guys, uh, and having a great time doing it. You know, it's just a uh, that's just a tough situation for those that are sitting in the back right now. But here we are, uh, the triple seven of Jonathan Lawson has moved back up into that top five after starting in second and is uh, is looking pretty good. Going back to what you were saying about Austin Zorgan, this is a big confidence booster and, and I'm sure watching from the infield is Jeffrey Finn guy knocked out in the C main. That, that, that his team's got a technical alliance with this 44 bunch for, next, for this 2023 season. So seeing Zorgan leading all these laps, that that proof to Finn guy that this is not was not a wasted investment. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and and I think that this is this has been a great a great event as a whole. Just to see, you know, who who is looking good right now, who has what type of skill set, and you know, I, we're learning a lot about we're saying Zorgan's name a ton, and that's just absolutely good for uh for his whole his whole cause, you know, and, and trying to get advance his career and get into this series like you said he qualified last year uh for knoxville in the trucks and then that was uh that was pretty much the highlight was just qualifying for that race now he's got a whole uh whole additional highlight reel going into this season i think that that's just great for a lot of these drivers it's not exclusive to zorgan by any means so we're uh we're we're, we're watching some some special stuff happen here and we're closing in on the end of this race and and it, it spread out more they were really tight for a lot of the beginning of this race and now everything is starting to spread out just a little bit uh in this one and we'll see what happens for the for the following laps yeah and the top four have pretty much sp extended their gap to the transfer spot battle between athens and lawson but here's a guy we i don't know if we expected to run up here brayhan stojanovic in the 679 he has no dirt track experience whatsoever in anything. Because right? remember, from where he, where he's from, but when you think of the word auto racing, you think road racing and and formula cars. But, but this is a completely different beast than those, yeah. and he's handling himself very nicely in the fourth position. Yeah, yeah, really great job. Uh, and and you know to be running in fourth right here. Uh, it, it is just as good as running first, like we were talking about a little bit earlier. When, once you're in that top five, especially if you don't have 
anybody immediately uh, uh, challenging you from behind. You, you can kind of just ride here and just, just let yourself advance, let yourself uh, not get caught up in any drama. Um, so that's a absolutely what you need to be doing. Athens having a fantastic day right now. Yeah, Bronson Minnick in the 91. Even if he's not, gonna, if he, even if he can't make the, the A main, he's had a fantastic run for, as well. He started 24, and he's all the way up into the ninth spot. And right behind him, it, battling for 10th, is Chris Lattimore, the C main winner. So these guys are having great runs, like you said. The track time definitely helping. The track position is going to be critical. Yeah, you know, and, and it seems like possibly. Uh, there just wasn't enough time in this race for, for those guys to possibly make up all those positions. I mean, it, it's just, uh, they're, they're too far behind at this point now, even though they are moving through the field, um, especially Chris Lattimore is right there, but just uh, not going to be enough um, to, to make it to the top uh, top five in this. But we have eight laps to go in the battle for the transfer spot, heating up. This is the battle for six, actually, between William Brock and Jacob Athens. In the 976, they, these two have got to put their differences aside and chase down that card. It's triple seven of Jonathan Lawson as we got a battle for second brewing between Soper and Buckles. Those two have got to start working together to catch the 44, and the other two have got to start working together to catch the triple seven because time is running out very quickly. Yeah, you're right, but Ryan Soper isn't, isn't even focused on that. He's focused on trying to go and get himself a win here in the, in the B main. Uh, and right now that 84 is in prime position to possibly have a shot at getting a win here, but he's going to have to pass that 44 car, uh, who has been absolutely incredible today. Uh, once, once it was all settled down for the lead, they did a lot of swapping, but once it was all settled down, Zorgan was the one on top in this race, and we'll see if Soper has anything to say about it in these closing laps. Coming the four laps to go now, and I think the 84 is going to face a little bit of pressure from the five right here. You're going to come real close, almost make contact, but not quite. You're going to be side by side at the line. Four laps to go, and I think Buckles is going to try and be the one in prime position to catch that 44. Yeah, d d you're definitely right, and and I think that the more the, the more and more that they fight each other, they uh, likely won't be having much of a chance to catch the 44, except they're they're really close. But there goes the 80, 84 again, down to the bottom, trying to make that move for second place, and it's just gonna it's just gonna hamper their uh, chances of being able to catch the and pass the lead. But what a job this has been for all three of these guys to stay up at the front, race like this, such close quarters to make it this far coming to the white flag this time with a big chance of making the A main feature. Yeah, you're right, and this 44 is looking good, but it might not last for very long. We're coming to the white flag here, and Ryan Stouffer is on the bottom, side by side, wheel to wheel, racing for the win. Here they come, down the back straightaway for the final time in the B main. Will Zorgan have enough to hold off the hard charging 84? He's gonna go high here. Could be this gonna allow the 84 a little bit of room, but it's not gonna be enough. And Austin Zorgan takes the B main, and he will start 21st in the A main. Soper advances, Buckles advances, Stojanovic advances. A great run for that group, and Jonathan Lawson, the final driver to advance, leaving William Brock on the outside looking in, and everybody else behind him will have to pack up and get ready for Daytona next month because. Their chances at the Winter Classic are done, but regardless, this is a great Winter Classic for everybody involved. And honestly, we, we've got we've got a twice as long race tomorrow. These yeah. guys are just going to put on an even bigger show. Yeah, they, they definitely will. And, I, and I'm excited to see what happens because, you know, that one came came down to the, the final lap to see who was going to win. We weren't quite sure uh, until that checkered flag was in the air. Um, and we're, we were on lap 50 still, so they were they were racing, they were putting on a good show. And hey, tomorrow we we've got the best of the best uh, in the A main, and it's going to be uh, uh, all pride, all glory on the line. Winner takes all. No more advancing, no more transferring, no more eliminations. Winner takes all tomorrow. That's going to be a lot of fun. So from Duke Anzac and for myself as well, we'll see you for the big show tomorrow night. But for five drivers tonight, this is their big shot, and they took it. They're moving on to the A-Main tomorrow night for, to the conclusion of the one-up winner classic.